All right, I made a thing and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Uh, so this is sort of a hacked integration button combination that is pretty neat. So let's say you, you had HubSpot or some CRM that you needed to integrate into Salesforce, a CRM, CRM integration, and you didn't really have the time or the budget or the bandwidth to make a full integration. What you could do is you can use a combination of a text field and a formula field to sort of hack one together. Um, I made an example with LinkedIn and I did it with context so let me show you what it looks like and then I'll back up and show you what I did to get there. So if I create a new contact and let's say his name is Spencer Lowe and he's the CEO at a company called Solved and all right, everything looks good. I'll get the rest of the details later. Here you can see I've got a button called LinkedIn, and even on the details, I've got another button called LinkedIn, and then that LinkedIn handle. I'll explain what that does here in a minute. Uh, but first, I'm gonna press the button, and it opens up LinkedIn, and if I'm signed into LinkedIn, it'll work. Otherwise, I'll have to sign into LinkedIn, and it looks up based off his name as well as his um, what company he works for uh, we're like okay well that's that's probably Spencer right there um, now that I see Spencer I can see his LinkedIn profile I just want to copy that and that's what that LinkedIn handle was all about so I can put that LinkedIn handle here press save now next time I click this LinkedIn button or wherever I click it down here or up here in the compact header. Now I go directly to Spencer. So if you're uploading a bunch of contacts or accounts and you have some sort of API linkage to that other system, you can upload it in there and then it clicks there and it looks exactly like you just created a button integration when really all you did was one, create a text field. And that text field doesn't have to be visible if you're gonna upload it in the background. And two, created this button let me show you what that was. So it was first it was a formula and let me break down what I put in here. Um, so I did an if then statement. You don't even have to do that. You could just do, hey, I want to integrate directly um, or um, I just want to do that search field. So if that one field is blank, then just go to LinkedIn and search based off the name, account name, yada, yada. Um, I actually just copied this from, I think there was a uh, trailhead that had this exact problem in here. So I just found that and used that. Then what I did is within the hyperlink function, I added an image function and I uploaded an image to uh, the documents and you could also use files, then added the name and then just kind of guessed and checked until it looked good on the size. I believe it's pixels, so I want 50 by 60. So you'll have to kind of play around with it depending on the image that you use um, as as well as kind of what you're looking to get out of it. Then the other statement is, or I want to do LinkedIn.com and concatenate that field right there. And since it was a text field, I don't have to put parentheses or anything else around it. Then I use that same image uh, so that button would look exactly the same right there. So that's it. It it uh, well, the first time around took me a little bit longer, but I'd say if I needed to do this again, it could take me ten or fifteen minutes um, versus the uh, the number of hours that it would take to get a full integration with another application. So hopefully this little hack is helpful to you. And um, I know uh, I have fun clicking on this this little button. Oh oh yeah, in other locations you can see, do it. So you can see I put it in the compact header. I put it in details, and last place I ended up putting it is on a list view, so LinkedIn contacts, and then here I could update the LinkedIn handle, so maybe if I wanted to you know, do a bunch at one time, so I want to look for Liz, and um, well, because she's a trailhead person, she's not a real person, there's no Liz that works at United Gas, um, maybe there's a Pat in there. Okay, now. Uh, no luck on that. Um, is, do I have anybody else who's real? I don't think. Okay. Tim Barr, Steve Barr, close enough. Then I would do that same situation. I would copy his handle and I would put it in there. And then next time, 
it would go straight to Steve Barr, in this case, LinkedIn page from Nevada. So hopefully this, this hack uh, is helpful to you and you could use it at some point and delight a customer, because uh, I know it delighted me. Take care. Bye.